Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to teach all of you how to snell a bridge in Minecraft and Bed Wars. So about a month ago, I made a video called I Learned How to Snell a Bridge and it, uh, yeah, wow, it got, it got a lot of views. The one thing about that video is I did not do a very good job explaining myself as to what exactly snell a bridging was. The entire comment section was filled with, bro, isn't that just speed bridge? What the heck, man? You're so trash. Get out of here. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're hundred percent right. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. So we are on air show and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I snell a bridge. Now, let me give a little brief explanation as to what exactly this is, because I'm sure there's a lot of you who don't know what it is. So let me let me put this into perspective real quick. All you guys know, I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to speed bridge. If you don't know how to speed bridge, I made a tutorial a long time ago, but it still holds up to this day. So definitely go watch that. I'll put that uh, above in the. Yep. Anyways, so this is speed bridging. Everyone knows how to do it. It's pretty common. Um, the average bedwars player knows how to speed bridge these days and it ain't nothing new ain't nothing new but sneller bridging is when you almost completely minimize the shift time when you're bridging and let me show you what i mean by that when you're speed bridging the shift time is what slows you down right and when you're god bridging you have no shift time as such so when you're sneller bridging you want to completely minimize the shift time so it almost looks as fast as a god bridge Almost as fast as Godbridge, it's still obviously quite slower, but it's faster than Breezley, and that and that's a fact. I'll put a little comparison up of Sneller Bridging versus Breezley Bridging. Okay, Luke Cape, so if it's just a derivation of speed bridging, then why does it have its own name? Well, snell bridging is actually very uncommon, and I feel as if it should have its own place in the bridging world. It used to have a name called Eagle Bridging, but that was quickly worn out. I was playing with a lot of German bridgers, and they all refer to it as Schneller. But to be faster than Breezley and safer than Godbridge is a huge advantage in the game of Bedwars, and you could definitely take out the teams way faster than you would be if you're just normal speed bridging. Anyways, Luca, how do I do this? Okay, let me show you guys. I'm gonna go back into Hypixel and go on the housing map just so I don't fall in the void a million times trying to teach you guys this. So I will be right back. The first thing I you need to be able to sneller bridge is just like any other bridge style you need rhythm as you learn how to speed bridge you learn that if you have a certain rhythm you can literally do this whole thing with your eyes closed and that same logic applies to sneller bridging you need to find a groove where your shift time is almost completely minimized and that you're able to get about four blocks in a row without falling once you have that then you're pretty set to go i do just want to say if you are just starting out sneller bridging you will not get it the first couple of tries or you might but it will be very very difficult that's not this is not a skill that you can learn in just about three seconds it will take a little bit of time for you to master and adapt i'm still not that great at it there's tons of people who are better at it than me but i thought i'd help you out and give some of the tips that i use and help me learn the way that helped me learn the best is to literally hit shift and right click at the exact same time now hold up before you start trying the goal of sneller bridging is to minimize the shift time right so that's also heavily dependent on how much pressure you put on your shift key if you hold your shift key down for a long time and lift it up then obviously you're going to be shifting for a longer time but if you smack it down real quick or even lightly tap it then guess what you're going to be shifting for less time and that is vital when you're learning how to sneller bridge you want to get in the habit of smacking your pinky down and lifting it back up at the exact same time or whatever your shift key is you want to smack it and get back up you know what i'm saying smack it and get back up. all right now once you do that you should be good to get the rhythm going one more vital thing is crosshair placement this is pretty similar to speed bridging you want to have it kind of in the center of the block right here uh it differs from god bridge where you have it about up there i think but with sneller and ninja you want to have it right in the middle you have a lot of space you have a lot of working space right in between there whenever you're on shifting right it lined up right in the middle put everything together left shift right click at the exact same time fast shifts all right and then bingo now i'm gonna say right now it's gonna be a little bit harder to train on mm -hmm. high pixel housing um i do recommend training in single player i'm only demonstrating this because you're probably going to be using most of your snellering on high pixel anyways unless you're playing on some other servers but it's really up to you where you want to train because there is a noticeable lag here um and sometimes i do lag spike whenever i play on high pixel uh but that, that's it's not that bad if you're wearing headphones i recommend you take one ear off so you can hear your clicks on your keyboard and your mouse this helps establish a better rhythm and sense of groove So yeah, I, I kind of messed up at the end there, but that that is basically, basically, basically it. My words aren't enough to get all of you to be able to snell our bridge. Uh, you will have to do a lot of practicing on your own. So don't be like, Luca, what the frick? I tried it for like 30 seconds and it didn't work. You're a fake. Uh, yeah, please, please, please don't do that. <laughs> Anyways, now the next question is, can you do snell bridging with jitter bridging or other clicking styles? And the answer is... 
Yes. I don't know about butterfly clicking, but I know jitter clicking and drag clicking works for this. Now, I don't know how to drag click, so I won't be able to help you guys out with that, but I do know how to jitter click. Now, I think if you're jitter clicking, you do have to move your crosshair position up as if you were to God bridge uh, because it wouldn't really work too well down below for some reason. I, I, I don't know why that is, but it just, it just is. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got a little bit, I got a little bit of distance here. Okay, yeah, I'm not really that good at jitter clicking, so this is not going to go too well for me. But it is possible. It is possible. I have not trained with this, uh, so that's why I'm pretty, I'm pretty ass at it. But I do recommend normal clicking uh, for this strategy. Or if you're a good drag clicker, then definitely do drag clicking because I know Bedless Noob, he can do this really fast with drag clicking. Um, and that's because drag clicking is super, super high CPS. But normal clicking is definitely the meta for this. And it's really fast too because you can just like get ready and go right away, you know? So that's pretty much the gist of Snellet Bridging. Thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. Um, hopefully I was able to help you and kind of clear up a couple of things about it. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment if you want, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.